Hi, my name is Salem Mitchell and I'm gonna show you my everyday skincare and beauty routine. I use Cetaphil Daily Facial Cleanser. It's pretty basic drugstore brand. I love it. If it's not broken, don't fix it. I wasn't allowed to wear makeup growing up. My parents really wanted me to feel confident in my skin and in my freckles. So I really got into skincare after modeling and coming home from photo shoots and having like tons of makeup on. And that's kind of how I learned about all the different products I use now. Next in my skincare routine, I use Kiehl's Cucumber Herbal Toner. I realized even with cleansing, sometimes I would still have mascara and residue in my inner eyelids and stuff like that. So toner has definitely helped eliminate excess dirt that I thought I got and didn't at all. I would say a really good piece of skincare advice I've gotten from my mom is not to do too much makeup and too much skincare. My mom also has freckles and I think that that's helped me feel super confident in my own skin. Okay, next I do this really early in my skincare routine. This is the Fenty Beauty Pro Lip Scrubber and I love this as like a lip exfoliator. My lips are kind of big and in the winter they get so dry and flaky and it's ridiculous. So exfoliating them is a very pivotal step to the success of my beauty routine. Obsessed with Rihanna, I've been blessed to work with her on Savage Fenty as well as Fenty Skin and that was a big deal for me. And actually when I modeled Fenty Skin, that was where I learned about this lip exfoliating brush. Okay, another favorite of mine that I also learned on set is these Peter Thomas Roth eye gel patches. Anything that has cucumber or hydra in the name, somehow that's like a buzzword for me to buy it. Something about it just sounds like it's going to refresh me and change my life. It's the little spa tease, you know? Having a platform where, you know, I get tons of feedback, both positive and negative. It's really difficult for me to balance um, keeping an authentic connection with my audience while also keeping my boundaries and protecting myself from people who want to be rude and to bring me down and maybe say negative things about my freckles or my hair. My rule of thumb with clapping back is always, it's only necessary if it's going to help more than one person and more than just me. My next step is this Tatcha Dewy Skin Mist. I really love this and when I do this, I take a nice deep breath and just release everything for my day. This is my favorite moisturizer. I use about this much. My favorite makeup look that I've ever done for a shoot is, I did a photo shoot with this amazing makeup artist and photographer named Raul Alejandro and he gave me this amazing worldly alien-esque beauty look and I had this egg in my hand. I felt so transformed. I think he found the perfect balance between transforming me, but also accentuating my natural features. My next step are my Skin Worship Dew Drops. These are combined of different natural oils. I don't use too much because oil is a lot and my hands are already oily and I can't really always put the excess on my body. I like to pole dance and so if I'm going to pole dancing, you can't have any lotion on or you will slip off the pole. I enjoy doing it as a hobby, but I have so much respect for women who dance to survive because it's really challenging to get on a pole not prepared for the conditions of the pole. Next, I use this Paula's Choice sunscreen. I really like this because it's SPF 50, which is super strong, and I prefer a dewy look on my skin. This is great because I don't think it's super matte and it keeps me looking all glossy and shiny all day. I have lighter skin, but it's really hard as a black woman to find sunscreen that doesn't leave a white cast on your face. My dad is darker than me and he would always say, we're black, we don't need sunscreen. And that was the biggest myth that I ever heard. I remember being in high school, I went to the beach, did not wear sunscreen. I got a sunburn and I peeled right here and I lost a freckle. From that day, I was like, I'm not listening to my dad. I'm listening to the professionals and I'm going to be wearing sunscreen. All right, the last step to my skincare routine is little lip care. I use the Laneige Overnight Lip Mask. I really value my skincare routine more than makeup. One, because I am not super well versed in makeup yet, but also I just think my skin is super important and the way that beauty has been marketed to me throughout my childhood is not the same in the way that it is now. When I was younger, having freckles, it was more seen as something that you should cover up, something that you should hide. So beauty and makeup wasn't that inclusive to someone like myself and it wasn't as empowering as it is today. Back when I was 15, 16, because of my freckles, I would always get this repeat insult that I looked like a bruised banana with spots. I told myself like, what can you do Salem to stop this from happening? So I found some bananas that had spots in my dad's house and I took a picture 
picture with all of them and I said okay this is my family and I posted it everywhere and that ended up going viral and a few months later this photographer who I love her name is Mayan Toledano she saw me on the explore page and she reached out to me to shoot and in May she cast me for my first shoot in New York which was 100 ways to wear Gucci for Vogue.com and that was where everything took off and I'm really grateful for that and I'm super happy that she was persistent in wanting to shoot me. Moving on to makeup, my makeup routine is super simple. I start with the Glossier Boy Brow in brown. It's so funny, I remember being 16 when the Anastasia Beverly Hills dip brow was a trend and everybody was doing that really strong brow and I was so jealous because my eyebrows, while they're full, they're a little short. So I was like, oh my gosh, I'm never gonna get this arch. I'm never gonna have this strong arch. And I'm happy I grew out of that because I think we all look back at those pictures and we think that was crazy. I don't do anything to my brows. I don't wax them and I don't tweeze them. And I learned that from my grandmother because my grandma tweezed her eyebrows so much growing up and now her eyebrows are really thin. Everybody in my family was like, don't touch your brows because you will tweeze them and you will not get them back after a certain age. Next is mascara. I use the Say Beauty Mascara. I think my best experiences on set, it's overall, I think the friendships that I've made. I've been doing this since 2016, it's 2023 now, and I have some friends now that I think that I'll have for a lifetime, or even if not, they've taught me so many lessons about life and love and friendship and connection. I think that my relationships with people, but especially women are super important to my mental health and my growth, and I'm so thankful that the majority of the relationships that I've made with women through this journey have all been positive. Last step of my daily beauty routine is I use this Tom Ford Luxury Lip Gloss. This is the color 20 Phantom. So continuing on with getting ready for the day, this is my next step. It may be a bit controversial, but I like it and I was able to find it, so I'm gonna use it. I usually will just use a little bit of hair oil in the parts of my hair to keep it shiny. I try not to use too much. I usually get my hair done every month to a month and a half after taking a two to two and a half week break from braids. I love having braids. It's an amazing protective style, but it does still create a little bit of tension on the head. So it's really important to make sure that I'm taking care of my scalp in between. All right, my last step in getting ready for the day is I use this Nairobi foaming lotion. So basically the types of braids that I have, they're knotless braids. The top is braiding hair and the bottom is human hair. So this is a little mousse that I use to keep the bottom ends that are open, like nice and wavy and cute. I love it. You can also use it on your whole head. I usually do if my hair is a little more old and if it has more flyaways. I don't necessarily need to do that right now because I kind of just got my hair done in the last couple weeks. All right, this is my final look. I'm ready to go about my day. I feel amazing and beautiful, and I hope everybody else has a great day.